Come on, Toby. Hi, I'm Amy. Kia ora, Anna. Welcome to our time. Hi. Thank you. I will be taking care of all of you during your stay. Everything's ready for your wedding tomorrow afternoon. I just need to confirm your meal preferences and your flower arrangement. Okay. Cool, let's do it. These are our choices. Lovely. Been told that the mahi mahi is really good. And also the pink tea pani. This yep, just like what you're wearing. Chorana. When's the next flight back to Auckland? Mm -hmm. 10 past three this afternoon. And how much is a ticket? $250. I've only got 80. Is that the cheapest? We also accept credit cards if that's how your parents would like to pay. Do you want me to book for them as well? No, no, no. That's fine. Kia ora, Anna. Would you like a closer look? How much is it? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred? Cool. Would you like to buy it? No. No, that's fine. Excuse me. Hey! The minister also asked what vows you'd like to give tomorrow. Mm. Oh, actually, we prepared our own vows. Great, I'll let him know. Where's Toby? He's right, but... I was talking to another customer when I saw him leave with it. No, okay. I didn't. What's going on? Is this your son? Yes. Well, he was caught stealing that. Did you steal that? No, I didn't. Yes, he did. You little liar. I'm terribly sorry. Please let me pay for I it. I don't want it. Then why did you steal it? Look, I'm so sorry. He's never done this before. I'll let it go this time. But if he steals again, I'll have to report it. Understood? I can assure you it won't happen again. I'm sorry. Why did you do that? I wanted to sell it. What for? To buy a ticket back home. Why do you want to ruin this for me? I never wanted to come here. I don't want to go to your stupid wedding. I hate him. You haven't even given him a chance. We don't need him. We're fine. Just the two of us. Fuck. <sighs> I know it hasn't been easy since your father died. You know, it's been really hard on me too. But Robert is a good man and he likes you. I know that if you give him a chance, you'll like him too. I hate him! Where is he? I think he's down the beach. I told him to get dressed an hour ago. Hey, hey. Let me go talk to him. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Go away. Can you keep a surprise? I was going to surprise your mother and show her tonight, but um, I've got a better idea. I want you to be in charge of the rings. Me? Yep. I know you'll take good care of them. I know we haven't spent that much time together with me travelling for work, but um, well, that's going to change. When we get back home, I'm going to sell my house and... I'm gonna move in with you and your mom. I don't want you to move in. We don't need you.
Excuse me, if you want to ask me. Um, no, thank you. I'm fine. How long ago do you think he left? I don't know. I um, woke up. He'd already gone. Did he take anything? His backpack. Anything else? Oh, what is it? What else did he take? Our wedding rings. I thought you said he hadn't stolen before. He hasn't, I swear. We'll start searching straight away. I'd like to come. Uh, no. It's best that you stay here. In case he comes back. Don't worry. We'll find him. It's gonna be all right. You're coming on far. Do you want to pass them in? Uh, no, thanks, mate. Are you ready to buy some rooms? Are these real? Yeah. Where did you get them from? You might. Where did you get them from? Hang on, hang on. Have you, have you stolen this? Uh, you just wait here, maybe. Excuse me, officer. I think it's just... Uh, Have you found him? No, not yet. There's one area that we saw having searched. The beach, west side. Come with me. Okay, let's split up. Shout out if you see him. Toby! Toby! She's beauty, isn't she? Comes every three weeks. You're lucky you saw her. She'll be gone tomorrow. Where's it going to? Back to New Zealand, I suppose. Can you take me out there? Not sure. Why? I need to go home. I'll pay you. Where did you get this? Someone gave it to me. You sure you didn't steal it? No, I told you. Someone gave it to me. Forget it. Wait, wait. I'll take you to the ship. But before we go, I just need your help with something. What lie should I tell the police when they arrive and find me with that ring? And you, missing. You're gone. You don't need to tell them anything. Just run away. But I'm not running away. This is my home. I don't know. Go hide somewhere. For how long? I don't know. You know what? How about I tell them the truth? I tell the police 
you stole that ring and gave it to me so that I could take you to the ship. Don't tell them that. Why not? It's the truth. But I'll get in trouble. Are you sure? The policeman said that if I steal again... You know, telling the truth doesn't always end in trouble. Yes, it does. You see my canoe here? When I was a boy? Betty! Betty, come on, the chief runs your own back at the village. Come on, let's go. Can all the young boys please step forward? I am getting old, and my time fishing will soon come to an end. And I want one of you boys to have my canoe. I'll give you a seed. I want you to plant this seed in a pot. And the boy that brings me back the tallest tree in six months' time will get to have my canoe. Pity, pity, wake up. Today's the day the chief decides. I don't want to go. The chief will laugh at me. But the chief gave you those seeds, and you agreed to plant it. Now you must do as he asked. Get up, come on, go see the chief. I give my canoe to Fiddy. No, he can't win. He doesn't even have a tree. I boiled those seeds before I gave it to you to plant. And there is no way it could have grown. And yet, you brought me trees. And Fiddy here is the only one with the courage and honesty to bring me his pot with my seed in it.
So telling the truth isn't easy. But when you do, you never know what the reward you might receive. Looking for you everywhere. Yeah. Toby, I. Your father, I, I don't want to replace him. Right? I never can. Promise me you'll never run away again. I'll promise. About the matter of the missing rings. I'd like to apologise. In the chaos last night, I forgot to check my pockets. You made us think that Toby stole. No. You don't need to lie. I stole the rings. That's the second time that you stole them. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to report it. If you'd like to come with me back to the police station. Wait. Would you be willing to let it go if we promise to take the next flight back to Auckland? But your wedding! I'm sorry. I never should have pressured you into coming. You're not ready. You miss your father. I miss him too. It's okay, Mum. We're going to be fine. The three of us. Really? Are you sure? I don't want you to I'm feel... I'm sure. If you don't mind, we just have to pick up our luggage from the hotel. That would be necessary. What time is your wedding? It's in about 40 minutes. Well, then we'd better hurry. <laughs> 